Assalamualaikum dear students hope you are well and hearty welcome to NIEVS home school this is Fatima Sabin Shikha assistant teacher of National Ideal English Version School morning trip today i'm going to take BGS class for the students of class 7 on the topic chapter 2 lesson 4 and 5 i'm repeating today our topic is chapter 2 lesson 4 and 5 wording done and students you can look here our lecture number is 8 and our homework number is 5 now students please take your textbook i'm going to read from chapter 2 lesson 4 and 5 so let's try lesson 4 folk culture of bangladesh and its different elements the culture that has been followed and maintained by the common people through the ages is generally known as folk culture so first question arises what is folk culture the culture that has been followed and mentioned by the common people through the ages is generally known as folk culture there are many elements of folk culture following is a discussion on folk culture of bangladesh and its elements concept of folk culture by the term of folk culture we understand culture of common people as well as their society or the culture of folk society Folk culture has its origin in the mouth of people in their thoughts and activities. So it means uh, from uh, centuries the common people used to do whatever is called folk culture. This culture has transcended from generation to generation. People has been maintaining folk culture from the ancient age. Since it is basically an oral tradition, it has undergone some changes in accordance with time. The culture started from the Aryan ruler society. Folk culture is formed based on some customs rights. Some of them are First one is out of fear. Fear of ghosts is an old presence in folk life. Although there is no scientific base of ghosts, Yet, the fear of ghosts is deeply rooted in folk society. Uh, basically, it's true that from the ancient time, uh, it is said that there is ghost um, around us and people used to be uh, worried, used to be afraid of them. But uh, we didn't find any scientific uh, idea about ghost, but it is called out of fear. The idea of ghost is originated from the belief. Though people die, their soul is immortal. People believe in it and they also believe that many souls roam around the earth even after the death of its mortal body. We know uh, from our religion and uh, from our beliefs that if people die, there is no soul immortal. But further, we believe in ghosts as we used to used to believe in that from our earlier times the weak souls turn into ghosts and scare, scare people thus people imagine different kinds of ghosts like mandubhut pichapi shakchunni petni etc folk culture also images some remedical traditions to these ghosts like jarfu like holutpura instead of tamaric, morishpura, in sin of paper, etc. So we used to do all these weird things. Um, basically, it is connected to our culture and tradition to uh, get rid of this type of goods like uh, mamdubud, shakchunni. Now, Gai Hulud, and it is called Saffron Ceremony. Gai Hulud is a mentionable part of marriage rituals in our society. Different kinds of functions are observed centering Gai Hulud. For example, everybody except the widows or barren ladies are permitted to smear turmeric to the right to be in this program. The reason behind this is these ladies may render the new bride to ill fate. Next, to remedy this, people inspective of Hindus and Muslims receive pendants, amulets, penipara, and tainted water from Pir Fakis, Shadhu Sharnashis, or Moldavi Purohis in order to get rid of sufferings from disease. So instead of going to doctor, 
uh, basically our people we used to do such things we used to take water from a uh, folk kids from shadu shornashis or some other purohits to be saved from a bad omen the folk belief is that a wrong eye can curse a person this is generally called omnes eye to be saved from this it is customary to draw a tip a small circle of coal on the other side of forehead of a baby to invent rain farmers become tensed during the time of a problem drought they grow afraid that the situation will harm their crop rural females observe a right at these times they carry a kula house to house singing or reciting or stirring the females of these houses pour water on the kula with the hope that rain will pour down from the sky this practice is real due to the interaction of modern irrigation system uh, in uh, before the uh, invention of irrigation system um, our uh, rural people used to do that they thought that if they sing if they dance and if they observe the days uh, if they pray then rain will come and it will be great pleasure to them next elements of folk culture subjects that have touch of folk culture are known as elements of folk culture usually these elements are of two kinds materialistic elements and spiritual elements so how many types of uh, folk culture are there? There are basically two types of folk culture and they are materialistic elements and spiritual elements. Materialistic elements. The elements of folk culture that have shapes can be held or touched belong to this kind. For example, weaving, cell craft, bell metal craft, clay craft, can craft, nokshikatha, etc. So all these are examples of materialistic elements of folk culture. Spinning wheel, plow, science, etc. Boat, planquin, etc. Apart from this, there are folk games, folk utensils, folk instruments, folk food, folk medicine, folk ornaments, etc. Next one is non materialistic elements. Cultural elements that cannot be held or touched are born in the minds of folk people and are maintained and spread orally. They belong to this kind. The main element of this group is literature. This kind of literature is not written down. People have endeared them in their hearts. This kind of literature is also known as folklore. So what is folklore? The so, uh, singing or the invention that uh, rural people uh, don't write them in any paper or anywhere else they used to uh, bear them in their hearts these are called folklore and this is one kind of or one part of literature some examples of this kind are folk tales uh, in bangla we say kisa folk songs proverbs and sayings lulabis corner saying riddles folk operas etc Besides, there are folk festivals and spells belonging to this group. Now we will discuss about Lesson 5, Culture of Different Small Ethnic Groups of Bangladesh. The majority of the people of Bangladesh are Bengalis, but there are a number of ethnic minorities mono living in this country. The, their rights and customs, food habits, dress and festivals reveal their unique cultural identity. Habits of ethnic groups in Bangladesh. A number of ethnic groups reside here in Bangladesh. Most of them live in Chittagong, Hill Tracks. These groups include Chakma, Marma, Tripura, Bawam, Kumi, and many others. Garos and Hajongs live in Greater Manasi. The Kashias and Manipuris live in Silent area. The Shantas and Orans are there in North Bengal. In the districts Chapai Nababganj, Ratshahi, Rangpur, and Dinajpur, the Rakhines hail from Kaksas Bajar and Potuakali. So, uh, ethnic peoples are one kind of group who lives in hill tracks, that means basically in Chattogram, they are called ethnic people or ethnic group. Culture of ethnic groups. Each of these ethnic communities has its unique culture. 
below it is an introduction to this. The Lysian, the ethnic Minoanites, we are once worshippers of nature. This devotion and dedication is still there among them to a large extent. They believe man is subservient to nature, not the vice versa. That is why nature and the necessity to preserve it is ever present in all their rituals, customs, social rituals, rites, and everyday life. But gradually they came to touch with the conscious colonist and grew habituated with the modern, modern urban state. Religious belief, customs and rituals, education and culture of modern civilizations started to have impact upon their lives. Many groups have accepted new religions. For example, we can say Chakmas, Marmas, Rakhines and many others have restored to Buddhism. The Garos, Shautas, Oragons and others have accepted Christianity. Therefore, now nature has been substituted by the supernatural but all these groups still continue to revere nature in their spirit of life. For example, each claim in an ethnic minority bears a symbol of identity which is usually varies various elements like trees, animals and birds. Next point is festivals. A common major feature of festivities among ethnic Minorities is prevalence of dance and songs. Kirtan and dance tribute to Radha Krishna are the most favorite among the Manipuris. They call it the Gopi dance. They observe holy during the spring with due splendor. Oregon's New Year starts in Falgun month. They observe Fagua to welcome the New Year. The Shautas observe Shuharai, Baha, and Pasca, Poro, etc., with festivities. All ethnic groups in the hill tracks observe Boishak, Sangrai, and Biju together at a stretch and they call it Boishabi. The Marmas and Rakhine celebrate Jal Utshop, that is called Water Festival, with due glamour during the new year. It must be mentioned that most of the festivals of these ethnic people are still related to the harvesting season. Common beliefs. Very much like the other ethnic groups of the world, the small ethnic groups of our country also hold some collective beliefs among them. For example, a full moon and the dark phase have special significance among the Monipuri and other Buddhist groups to celebrate the full moon with religious and cultural rites. These groups also conform to various prejudices. For example, the Orans do not construct houses or do the roofing during the month of Posh. The Garus never sweep the house and throw trash away at night from the same belief. The Barmas tell to abstain from eating radish during the month of Magh. The Kashyas prescribe to warm their hands on fire a bit before touching a new natural. Otherwise, they believe misfortune may come from the baby. About marriage, though most of the ethnic minorities give freedom to the experience to choose their own life partner, they also require them to be recognized by the family and society. Customarily, most of them forbid marriage outside the clan. Besides difference in the rights of marriage, they also bear diverse beliefs and attitudes regarding marriage. Wedding as well as marriage proposals are forbidden in the month of July among the uh, Pankwas in fear of misfortune. Mahatos abstain from marriage in the month of Agrahayan. The Garos and Kashyas are maternal societies. As the young, youngest daughter is entitled to inherit all properties of her mother, the husband of this daughter has to live compulsorily with his 
in-laws family you know the garos and cashiers they are basically maternal from maternal societies they get all the wealth from their mothers and that's why after their marriage they used to stay in their mother's house and also their husband used to stay with them dress and ornaments most of the ethnic minorities weave their own clothes the chakma males mainly wear shirt and lungi the lower parts of their female dress are known as spinon which generally has prevalence of red and black colors they wear a special kind of blouse as the top the dress of marmoth males is known as tami or else wear dhoti and shirt many minorities adorn themselves with various ornaments chakma females use bangles, necklace and earrings, shantal and orals, females put on ornaments in their hands, neck, ears and fingers of legs. From the ancient time, the organs ornaments are kakuli or ear lobes, tiprapata or upper portion of ears, nolok or nose, nokachuna flower motif or nose, Hashuli or neck, etc. So these are the names of ornaments that uh, Orauns used to wear from ancient time. Garo females put on traditional customs like Dakamanda, Dokasharis, etc. And use ornaments like Konanlil, Rik Machu and Penota, etc. Other minorities also have their special ornaments. Food and drink. Many ethnic minorities believe some animals as symbol of their clans. This belief is known as totem. Generally, a totem is forbidden as a food to the particular tribe. The Monipuri group has traditional ban on meat and narcotic drinks. This, their menu during religious festivals also forbids fish. Each ethnic group has its one or more favorite foods. The Garos are fond of nakhem dried fish for fondness from for whom made cakes and pies is so prominent among the orounds that they observe special programs on Posh, Shankranti and 13th of Bhadra only to eat cakes and pies. Napi or Sindol, a special recipe with dried shrimp or small fish fries is highly popular among the groups living in Chattogram Hill districts. A kind of drink prepared from fermented rice is also a regular feature among all the, the tribes. So there's a long discussion from lesson 4 to 5 from chapter 2. Now it's time to provide your homework. Your homework will be 5 one word answer from chapter 2 lesson 4 and 5. That's all for today's students. Please do your homework and don't forget to submit your homework copies on every Saturday. See you soon. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.